everybody, it's Tommy Iris, and welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy 2. Last time, we wrapped up pretty much all of World 5, getting silver crowns on all of the, everything else, minus these two galaxies. That's it, that's it. So, uh, so this time, we're actually going to be going around and wrapping up some small few things, of course, being some prankster comments. And the first one on our list is Bowser's Gravity Gauntlet. And of course, like anything in any... Bowser level, it's going to be a speedrun level. Yay! And of course, it's going to be just like the one you just did before with the Bowser's uh, level layer. So it's going to be just like that one. Um, you get to click clocks. I think this one is a little bit more cut for time, though. I think this one does require. I think this is the harder one of the. I think this is the harder one of what we've seen so far. I don't want to jinx it. Can we restart at the same time? I'm not just gonna. Jinx myself, and I'm just gonna jump right in. Okay. So, of course, collecting all the clocks that you possibly can straight off is your best bet. Um, of course, with the Bowser's Lava Lair, um, doing that, just avoiding any subliminal, like, trying to avoid any, like, just not necessary fight is probably a good thing to do because at that point, it's kind of just wasting your time, and I don't recommend doing that. Uh, if, like, if it's, like, something like that, if he is in your way, then I would recommend going after him. But if it's just like simple, like, like you, you can just avoid them and you don't have to worry about them after that, then yeah, I would I would just straight out avoid them. Like it's not gonna be worth your time, um, just to go like that. Um, I am trying to get through this as quickly as possible because this is probably the harder of the two missions, in my opinion, uh, of, of the actual Bowser's Speedrun missions. Because this one actually does involve a lot of weight. How did I not get burned by that? Okay. Oh no, Mario, 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 Mario. Okay, there we go. Collected that very weirdly, but I got it. Okay. It does supply you with a lot of clocks to be able to beat the time, I mean, which is really good. But you also have to remember that this is a part of a part of this level is a swimming level, so you gotta have to make up a little bit of time for that. So I mean, they are generous when it comes to allowing you to get more time, uh, per se. I mean, I like that. All right, we get to this next area. We're making pretty good time, surprisingly, because this, this is probably one of the harder levels, in my opinion, to do when it comes to the Bowser speedrun missions. Um, because there's like the gravity's all warm, so you're gonna have to get used to that. Like uh, in Bowser's Lava Lair, it was just like, oh, it's just a simple. Um, you just gotta get to this area. And, like, it was super simple, uh, but it was like it wasn't super hard. Like, that's the thing either. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, like we're already. Whoa. All right, so this is the point where I just speed on the list of the level. Okay. Hey guys, I'm actually a speedrunner. Yep, I'm actually a speedrunner. Yeah, that's actually it. That is the full level. Not too bad. Took a couple hits of damage. Took a couple hits of damage. Was able to beat it on the first try. Not too bad, actually. Oh, it is a bit harder um, time management-wise. I mean, I think speedrunners, uh, they're doing like 100%. Um, I think I've only ever seen one 100% one like Super Mario Galaxy 2 speedrun because it is long. <laughs> hey, but 100% speedrun on this game is very long. Oh, come on. I mean, we're heading back early anyway. At least we're not going to be one for... Uh, the battlefield flusher flight. I was not gonna be like that one. I don't think we're actually gonna get the message for that one. Of course, it is going to be um, okay. So there we go. We actually get the Starshine Beach Galaxy. Now, if I remember this one correctly, it is the. I think it's a purple coin mission. I think it's a purple coin mission. I don't think this one's timed though. Purple coin beach. Da oh no, it's it's, it's timed. Ah, uh, everything that has to do with speed and dash. It's immediately know it's gonna be timed. Okay, so with like anything else, it is going to be there's a certain number of purple coins that you can collect, and you you have 35 seconds. Got 100 coins. There's 140 in total. So you really uh, wow, I'm already missing a whole lot. Um, yeah, you really don't want to miss a lot. And this is the part where you really want to get used to Yoshi's fast controls because. You really want to get used to Yoshi's fast controls for this because, oh boy, you're going to need them. And you don't have that much time, actually. You you have a very small amount of time to collect all the 100 ones. And if you mess up, you're screwed. Like, I'm already messed up so bad. I don't think I'm going to get this because I messed up. No, I didn't because I missed so many. Um, oh, kill me. And Yoshi's like, oh, Mario, what are you doing? Why, you, you good, buddy? Yeah, this one, this one's quite tough. It is a purple coin mission. It is a speed mission. Of course, I've expressed myself about how I feel about purple coin dash missions. Um, I don't like it very much. <laughs> Not a big fan. 
I mean, they're really cool for skill, but it's just, it's just, no. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of them. Some people may be. Yeah, I like the, I'm not a big fan of the slowdown here. I don't like Dash Pepper Yoshi's controls. It's just, he it feels like way too in, uh, in less control, like when you're trying to use them, but like, ugh, come on. I don't mean to just, okay, there we go. Yeah, we definitely got it at that point. Yep, we got it. It took a second try. I mean, it wasn't that hard. And of course, that the um, the thing doesn't I mean, force you to get Yoshi. 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 Thank you. All right, we're gonna get this uh, starts with Yoshi because we're just uh, super cool. Also, Yoshi's eyes are just pure blue. Kind of weird. But yeah, that's. I mean, we had to hit the back for world thought. Um. Coin, uh, beach dash. Yeah, I don't think there's very many, um, things left to do that are, um, things. This is it for honey hive? Or honey, or that, or the, that one. Or honey hop. But, actually, we have this one. Okay. I completely forgot about this one. Not gonna lie. Because I was like, okay, so all these other ones are done, so we can just hop right back into, uh, World 5 and just continue on. No, actually, we still have this one to go. So, so it takes, so essentially, it, this, this crazy comet takes this mission, but makes it, but makes it harder. Um, it doubles the time, or it doubles the speed of which you need to do this. Um, it is a little bit more challenging, but it does offer checkpoints. Um, there's very few double time missions in the game. So, kind of take them as you get them. There's not time, it's not time, it's not, it's not a whole thing either. Whoa. The, my best bet with this is staying in the middle. Because at least you can at least make a good attempt. Okay, so. So, trying to stay ahead of the storm is your best bet. Trying to stay on beat as well. Trying to stay on beat as well is probably a good idea. Um, I have stated before that, um. This mission can screw you up, essentially, if you screw up the rhythm. Okay. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Whoa, okay. Can I get Mario to move there? It's, just, it's a little awkward. Whoa, my god. Yeah, this one This one can get a little weird. Okay. Oh, whoa. Okay, just make it on. Okay. Um, I think I just make it on to this one. Yes. Okay. You don't have to worry about that platform. Of course, spinning is your best friend. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Okay. I really want to take my time with this one. Okay. Um. We're gonna hop down to this corner here. Because essentially we just don't need to. Um. Wow. I, I knew going into that. I knew I was gonna die, and I still did it anyway. Uh, they're kind of me. I mean, it's kind of like how I am. Okay. Right. So essentially, for this, for that part, staying in the middle is an ideal thing to do. Um. Yeah, this one, this one is rough. Like, it's not rough as in it's hard. It just, if you screw up, like, it, it, it will definitely screw you over. Um, because you're just, like, you're trying to go with the tempo. But because it's double time, then that means the tempo is doubled. And on top of that, you're already getting screwed over by the, by the speed. On top of that, you're getting double screwed over because you screwed up. Um... Man, I just... It's a lot harder in double time. And there's, like, very few missions in the game that are double time. Like, this is one of very couple... Like, if there's, like, a couple of missions in this entire game that are require a double time mission. I'm not kidding. There's, like, very few missions that actually require a double time. Um, uh, so, can I take a... <sighs> Anything that requires a rhythm, I'm not good at. Okay, so I think I'm going to switch up my strategy. Mario, I swear. Okay. Mario, why don't you long jump, dude? Okay. Whoa! Okay, um. Switching your camera is a really good idea. I would highly recommend it. Uh, okay. So, let me switch my camera. No. Let me switch like that. Okay. Do that. And just wind up to here. And just wind up to here. Wind up to here. Oh. I did it. Oh. It, it takes a few tries to try to go. I know my battery's low. Quit reminding me. 
Okay, so they do tend to stay. They are. They do stay based on how, like, however color you finish. So at least it's that easier on you. <laughs> and you'll actually still keep going in double time because that would be rough. Like, you get all the way there and then like, you you end up failing the mission because you um. You end up failing the mission because you were screwed over by the double time. Yeah, and it would suck just a little bit, but no, it's still the same thing like it is normal gameplay. All right. So, with that, that is all the Prankster Comets done from at least 1 through 3. I'm pretty sure. Because the last Prankster Comet, yeah, complete, complete, complete. Uh, the last one for here is Honey Hop. The last couple here are ones we're just going to be driving by through anyway. Um, not too bad. And, of course, it's Shiver, it's Shiver Burn. Oh, wait, actually, it's Shiver Burn. Okay, I don't remember if this is a daredevil run or if it's a speed run level. I doubt it is. A, I doubt that it's a purple coin mission. That would seem very out of the likely. Um, Octo Army Rainbow Romp. Oh, it's none of those actually. It is a speed mission, but it actually adds in the um, the addition of remember the Spiny mission from like ugh, forever ago. Well, that is essentially this mission, but it is faster. But you have 50 seconds to do it. You can kill all of the rainbow of the, all of the Octo Octo Goombas, and you have to skate. Of course, getting Luigi in this mission would be kind of a blessing in disguise. I feel like, you know, this is me. I don't collect these. Um, don't collect the star immediately after picking them up. I I hate these things so much. Like, right now, I would recommend picking up... Oh, Mario, please. This is work with me here, bud. Okay. Um, yeah. Mario... Skating physics don't tend to work. Especially when it's like, oh, you have to kill a bunch of enemies all in a row. Because enemies tend to move. Especially the pink ones. Like, I hate the pink ones. I've always hated the pink ones. Okay, let's get the last one. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get on this one. No. Because that one... That one... Octuba is such a jerk. Oh, maybe... Oh, oh! No, 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 I got it on the first try? No! No! Last second? No, I'm done! I got cocky. I got cocky. That is full me. I got cocky. And I paid the price for it. Alright, let's see if we can have just a better run around the second time, alright? So, yeah, don't get cocky, Tyler. Because it, it might come back and bite you. Um... It's, you know, same strategy, just don't pick up the rainbow flowers like, en masse, like, definitely spare them, or just be conservative of the rainbow star. Like, right now, I'd say pick one up, because you've cleared out a lot of the, uh, like the Octoombas, and Octoombas. Um, if you miss one, I recommend just skipping it, and just coming back to it later, because at that point, you'll just probably just be able to get it. It's, like, the, the, the Octoombas, I can't hit them, because they just move. Why do you, why do you move? Oh, wow, what? I am doing worse. I am doing worse because, because, uh, okay. I, yeah, I, I still beat it though. I just, yeah, still the same time. Okay. Um, note to self, turn off your skating. <sighs> no. <laughs> Sorry, Mario. I like you. I like you, Raven Mario. I like your skating. I just, no. <laughs> no. You're not going to be able to ice skate. No. No. And with that. We got that star. And now we are a whole 86 stars in. Jeez. And that is it. There's nothing left to do. But Bowser Jr.'s Boom Bunker. You're going to see just how cool this level is. Because, oh, this is my favorite Bowser Jr. fight. Um... And when you get to see the, uh, wait until you get to see the Daredevil run for this one. Hmm. This one's fun. Alright, so essentially this is the last line of the fence that Bowser has. This is Bowser Jr. himself. Of course, if you do remember that from uh, Mario Galaxy 1. I know I keep referencing Mario Galaxy 1 and I really feel bad about it. But it's really hard to not to. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, we got mud here. How does that work? I'm jumping! Whoa! You to, ow! How is your electrical field that big? I mean, I don't care. 
I know my battery's about to die again. I really, I really do understand that. I actually, I know, I actually know they're not about to die because I've only recorded two videos with the dead, almost dead battery meter. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I just remember what you had to do. So you have to get the, um, you have to get a bullet bill. Um, you have to get them to go all the way across. And these guys are fast too. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. That made my life easier. Okay, so, um, you can shoot this target here. Actually, if you look up, there is a singular planet over here. If you try to shoot to that planet, you'll actually fall out of space. Now, you can shoot this target here if you want to try to deal with the motion plus. Actually, what I recommend doing is aim for the hammer, bro. Actually, I missed him. Um. Whoa, 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 I made it, but I shouldn't have. Okay. These are boomerang bros. Um. They're kind of first appearance in the Mario series. And they're kind of the last. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no. Um. No, it's really cool. Hammer bros. And you can see the thing off in the distance. No, we aren't just gonna get. This is actually that planet we could have blasted off to. Um, it just couldn't because the uh, thing there. Uh, okay, so there is a way you could just go through here pretty easily. You can shoot to a different point. If you want to? Yeah, hit the target there. Hit the gold target. You get a spare one up. Now, guess what? One of my favorite power ups is being able to creep. <laughs> Man, I was super excited about being able to use the cloud, sh uh, the cloud flower, and I screwed it up. <laughs> Typical me, but all right, all right, do this. All right, we're gonna try it again. Actually, I'm gonna. It is not reliable to shoot. Oh, wow, I screwed that up. I, I really don't care though. I'm not about that. I still, I still get the one up anyway, even though I clearly missed. Okay, so this is about timing. If you remember where the um thing was no 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 you're not gonna die I refuse to die I will not die um not until I can collect that star coin that right, comet metal it's here I know it is okay I see it I see it it's in it's in my vision oh no I don't have any more clouds okay click that oh oh no Ugh. come on click more clouds yes okay do that do that and there you go. You're, you're pretty much safe at this point. But, but are you really safe though? I mean, we're about to go face Bowser Jr. I mean, I don't think we're safe. Now introducing one of the coolest boss fights in this game. Hands down. My dad's gonna get angry if I let you get another Grand Star. Time to break out my Booms Day to machine. Then I'll just relax in my comfy cockpit and watch you go BOOM! Now if you look in the background, it should seem very awfully familiar. But that's just awesome music in general. Um, but uh, if you look in the background, that is essentially the same background that was in um, Mario Galaxy 1 upon getting to the final level in the game. Or reaching at least the final area uh, where Bowser and Bowser Jr. were. Um, which is really cool. Um, I like that idea. Like, it's a really cool touch. I love that idea. Alright, so, essentially Bowser Jr. Boom. You kind of want to do that. You want to get up to his level and then, um, hit him or ground pound his, uh, shield. Um, and he's going to suck in all these, uh, he's going to suck in all the clouds that you make. Or just some clouds in general. And he's just going to try to ruin your good day. Now, if you do manage to sit on top of him, um, he will actually try to, okay, whoa, um, I'm safe. I'm safe because I'm above him. And I'm hoping... Oh, still got him. Nice. Okay, so... Up to that point. Um, if you look at the background, it is the final area that would lead up to the Bowser fight in Mario Galaxy 1, the final boss. And which I think is a really cool detail. I think it's a really cool attention to detail. And it really shows that you're getting close to the end of the story. Like, already hands down. Like, you are super close. Alright, I'm not going to do anything here if I'm just stop sucking in all the clouds and then make my way up. First, getting more clouds is a good idea. Whoa, 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 Um, yeah, he will try to ruin your good day. Um, those are homing, by the way. So he will try to hit you with these homing, uh, electric balls. 
Don't let him do that. Uh, try to make your way over to him. Slowly but surely. But make sure you are above him now. To the point where, yes, I know my batteries are going to die. Make sure you're above him. Kind of, you know, kind of made above him. And that's it. That's the boss fight. A really cool boss fight. And, like, I love that this is, like, that you actually face Bowser Jr. as the final fight with Bowser Jr. Like, he's like, oh, my, the grand plan is almost complete. Yeah, I'm not going to fight you, though. I'm just in King Caliente for a spicy return. Like, yeah, I mean, it was kind of cool. Kind of cool. But, all in all, just, I like that this in this version, in like, this game, that you actually get to fight Bowser Jr. himself before the final boss. Um... Cause right at this point we are in, stretching. We're actually in the home. We're actually in the home stretch. Um, that is entirety of World Five complete. Uh, I mean not mastery complete though. We I mean there's still some comet medals that still need to be done. Uh, some prankster comets and um, things like that. There's still the bonus mission for the Fluzzer flight. The next Fluzzer flight. Um, you got a grand star. Bowser Junior's Boomsday machine. Bowser Junior's Boom bunker. Got a comet medal. Thirty. Five. Wow. Okay, 971 coins. Almost a thousand coins up to this point. That's the fifth grand star. I had a feeling you could do it. Next up is the sixth world. You know what that monster Bowser? You know that Bowser monster is going to put up even a stronger fight now. So let's get those power stars and save your special one. The big fight awaits. The helm is yours, Captain. Um. Funny thing is, we can already go fight the final boss. Like, I could, like, complete the first mission in every in every galaxy in this world and just be, still be able to fight the final boss just fine. Um, yeah, I mean, if you collected every star up to this point, you should be fine for the rest of the game. Um, uh, spoiler alert, there is an after game after the final boss. Look at that. We already have everything unlocked. That's, yeah, the battle draws near. Do your best and let's get him this time. Indeed we shall, but we're going to start that next time. So next time on Super Mario Galaxy 2, we start our trek through World 6. And we start with Melty Monster Galaxy, alright? We're nearing the end of the story. See you guys then.